This is a video to show how to hook relays to run door poppers. I'm starting off with the relays themselves. These are generally purchased from eBay. I can't verify that all the colors are the same. And looking at what we have here, the white and yellow that will be separated for each door. The white will be the 12 volt control circuit hooked up to the micro switch or whatever switch you use. The yellow wire will be the power that goes to the door solenoid itself. The two black wires are grounds to be connected towards the battery. The blue wires are the power in. That needs to have at least a 40 amp fuse going to it. The two red wires will not be used at all. The other white and yellow will be for the other side of the door. Now there's a couple ways to provide power from this. You can hook the blue ones and the two white ones together from one fuse source or you can have a 40 amp fuse for this and like a 10 amp for each one of these. Now when you look at this you see the 85 and 86 is the power coil, 30 is power going in, 87 is the power going out that we want. Now these simple relays interlock, they slide together which makes it easy to fasten somewhere. Now I'm going to walk out and show you what I did on my truck with a fuse. This is redundant. This is the fuse in the power circuit. Runs over here and it runs to this relay. Now, this blue wire is the power going in. This white trigger wire is what activates it. The yellow wire is the power going out. That's here. And I bought this simple fuse panel and it's got one going in and four going out. That gives you several options if you want to do that. But it will work with just one fuse going in for the power circuit for the two triggers and the two wires going from the poppers. Now what I researched, I found that it says most people think you need a 40 amp fuse to run those poppers. That's why I said 40 amp fuse.